It's not even X-rated. But that was from the Ralph Transplant song. But I finally saw X, which is a movie that's been getting quite a bit of talk uh, through social media and whatnot. Mainly because, oh, it's this edgy hipster horror film. That's what it is. I was distributed in the US by A24. Dude, it's from Taiwan. Dude, it's got me off and it's got Kid Cudi producing and starring in it. Well, I mainly saw it mainly because I'm a film ratings nerd, as everyone might know, because I've posted a lot of videos about the BBFC and MPAA. So I had to see this just on the basis of the title and also the subject matter. <clears throat> Due to the mature content, the 18th certificate, I'm going to have to be a little bit clever about how I approach this, but essentially it's about uh, a bunch of young people, including 140-something, uh, filming pornographic films, and they try to find a way to make some quick cash, so they ask this old man's house to see if they could film the smut, if you know what I mean. One of them looks like uh, Linda Lovelace, um, Mia Goff's character, who... um. Always stars in these weird type of sexually charged films. I don't know what drives her to it, but, you know, good for her. And then Britney Snow from Bushwick, she's in it. And, um, Kid Cudi, who's probably, you know, the famous rapper. He's been, like, the, uh, stud. And, uh, white woman fancy. I know. I know what you're thinking. Get that out of your head about this mystery behind, uh, you know, BBC. If you know what I mean. And, uh... Yeah, and even Mia Goff is even playing an old lady. You couldn't tell at first, but um, the disguise makeup is uh, very clever, very conceitful. So I may saw it because of the controversy, I would suppose. When I did see it in the cinemas, there wasn't really many people inside, unfortunately. So I couldn't get, you know, the whole shock value that it was trying to pertain to with the graphic sexual content and nudity. Even though it's not as graphic as, like, Baz Moir, Nine Songs. But you get the idea. Um, but most people aren't used to that sort of thing, at least on the big screen. I mean, Fifty Shades of Grey did it, but that was, uh, blimey, nearly seven years ago. Yeah, actually, more than seven years ago. That was back in February 2015. But that film, uh, was shite. I didn't see it in cinemas, um, I, I didn't have any money at that time, and also I was going through a lot of things. And also, why would I, a man, want to appear doing a screening of that film where it's mostly predominantly female, and everyone will look at me like I'm some sort of deranged pervert? It's already bad enough going to see this and Don John, and then Cuck, one of my favourite films about, you know, pornography and sexual culture, even though... Um, it mostly sort of looks it from the outside. Uh, you do get a feeling that it is a bit sleazy, and uh, I'm sure some people were probably wanking and masturbating inside the cinema, unbeknownst to them, and saying like, Ooh. "Oh, I like it when she wipes that. that come off a twat." Oh, no, no, that, you no. Know, this isn't that kind of movie. What? Go watch it at home, you dirty bastard. Bad enough. I knew someone who had to get um, a sperm analysis, and you had to wank his codger or something and they even had on uh, this clinic he told me the whole story of um, pornographic hardcore stuff and it made him really uncomfortable that he just uses imagination instead now I feel like I'm gonna vomit but you get the idea overall um, it's not the best film I've seen but it's certainly a pretty interesting film and that has got some extreme violence and uh, some very uh, interesting sexual material that will certainly anger conservatives and racists alike. And probably appeal to people who are weird and kinky and have fetishes. So, um, if you like that and you like Dogs Don't Wear Pants, which is a Finnish film that has similar levels of uh, nastiness, then this movie might be for you, but um, I would approach very cautiously. And also, make sure that the under 18s going to see it. Don't try to sneak in their way. I mean, you can see it with a parent, in America, it's rated R. I don't know why, but you know, they'll find ways to sneak in because it's got boobies. <laughs> well, you can watch it on the internet, you fucking idiot. Also, don't be. Whatever. I said enough. If I want to talk about the film rating, I'll certainly. More than happy to talk about the film rating. That's the best part about it. The 18 certificate, it's rated R. I don't know if they cut certain things out of it just to get the R ring, but I, I wouldn't put it past that. We probably might even get like a director's cut or whatnot later over time. Um, with that being said, however, there is a spoiler I will mention. This is going to be part of some sort of trilogy of films 
that are pertaining to the sort of X universe, which I don't really understand. And they're going to make a prequel based on the Pedal character, who's the old lady that's in it who wants to relive her sex life. And they're somehow going to make a movie about it, and Mia Goth's going to play it, you know, in her younger form. It just looks very strange and bizarre. I heard they filmed this during, you know, the pandemic because they had to do lockdown when they were filming it in New Zealand. Not really enough, it wasn't filmed in America. They filmed it over in uh, Lord of the Rings land, just in the Ardern land. I'm sure she wouldn't approve of some of the material that's in this, but um, that, that's uh, another concern here and there. So, yes, I'm not that interested in Peril, but I am interested in X. Um, you know, I haven't seen very much films this year, except for, like, The House and Ted K in France. Most of those were a little bit disappointing, or... Eh, X is probably the better one out of the crop, just so I'm saying. It's also the first one I saw in cinema since Last Night in Soho. So, yeah, that's quite a while, really. So, yeah, I've said my piece, and uh, Skinny Media is off. Until next time, keep on watching. Next review will be for Master. Keep your ear out.